Um, yeah, as Alan said, um, I'm Steve Tully. I'm working out in Ballyfermot, and I got started up with the Ballyfermot Youth Theatre early, late 2019-ish, and then we all know what happened next. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about that today, how we started off, where we went, and how we managed Zoom and stayed online for a little while, and then how we came back into the room. And I'm going to talk a little bit about the work I do with Family Base, which is the organisation I work with, and how we kind of, how I think we kind of hit social inclu inclusion, like what Alan was saying, and how we cater for the community of Ballyferm and Cherry Orchard, which would be seen as a kind of um, a, a disadvantaged area and that type of thing. So uh, I'm going to do that. I'm going to show you a little video down at the end, which will have the young people there. So it'd be great to show their faces and get them a little bit of screen time. They, they, they made me promise I'd show the video, so that's what's going to happen. <laughs> um, so yeah, just to start off, um, I work for Family Base, I'll talk a little bit about that, and we are a uh, centre for families and children um, in the Ballyferm area, Dublin 10, and we're all, I'm also now the full-time facilitator of the Ballyferm Youth Theatre, along with one of my colleagues there in Ballyferm, who was a young person in the service and came up through it, so it's great to have young people in with us helping us facilitate, we're always kind of, we're all for that. Um, and a little bit about my background, so I wasn't a youth theatre kid, I wasn't lucky enough to be a youth theatre kid. I didn't know what youth theatre was when I was younger. I came from a kind of film background. And when I say a film background, it sounds very grand, but it was making films with my brother and my friends and you know, finding a camera and just doing what we could with it and pretending we were actors. But that led on to you know, school projects and college then. But it all stayed quite formal education. Like It was all that kind of environment. Nothing as fun as being in a room with you know, a lot of lovely uh, youth theatre people. Um, so I was coming from that background. And then I work as an artist in Family Base. I'm one of the artists there. We, we have, we're very lucky as in we have full-time artists in there all week doing art programs. And that could be anything from arts and crafts, film, uh, illustration, um, anything that involves any time of create creativity. Uh, and now, thankfully, it has youth theatre. Um, so back then, in 2019, my manager came up to me and he says to me, uh, do you know what youth theatre is? And I went, no. And he went, well, we're looking to start one up in Ballyferm and you're going to run it. And <laughs> a few internal panics and screaming. And then I went, yeah, great. Show me what to do. And they sent me on some training. And the first taste of you theatre I ever had was in a workshop with Dave Kelly. Uh, it was a three day laying the foundations introduction course of how to do a 10 week program with young people. And that was just amazing. Like I was I walked in. Not only was I in there to learn how to facilitate a group for young people, I was in there to be a participant for the first time. So at you know, the tender age of 30 something, um, <laughs> I got to walk into a room and be like, oh, this is amazing. Like it was th and it was that sense of just walking in feeling immediately comfortable, immediately accepted, immediately uh, included. You know, I just, and all I needed to do was come in, show up and stand there and be willing to run around for a while and, and do a few exercises and games. And that really resonated with me because I was thinking all in the back of my mind of my young people back in Ballyferm and the, the kids I work with day to day. And like, if I can walk in here and feel this amazing sense of just this, this, this tribe, this acceptance, this, this fun, you know, and like, if I can bring that back to them and show them the same thing, then we're, we'll be doing something right. So I was sold from, from that day. Um, so it was all about learning the trade, I guess, bringing it back and seeing how we could put it all into practice. Um, that was the plan. But of course, as Alan mentioned, something got in the way. <laughs> and uh, we had all the best laid plans. We, I did a bit of training. Um, I wrote up some brilliant workshops. They were fantastic. They were going to be great. Uh, we outreached young people. We had young people from existing groups who were interested. We went to the schools, all that type of thing. We had a lovely list of young people that were going to come down to our first workshop. And then we were told, nope, can't do any of that. We're shutting down schools. We're shutting down this. No young people in the building. Uh, so we were like, OK. We'll go on to Zoom. I'll do the first one on Zoom. So my first ever deliver, uh, facilitation of, of a group of young people was on Zoom. And I found out what an awkward silence was <laughs> very, very quickly. And uh, I found out what it's like to see 10 or 12 young people like this going, yep, we've been, we've been doing this all school, all day in school, mate. What have you got? Um, but it was great. No, they, they were very nice to me. They, you know, we, they, they treated me very well. I was accepted. Um, and we kept going. And we did a couple of months of that. You know, you, you find out very quickly, like some people, very accepting, wanted to do, do it. And other people were like, listen, I do enough of this in school. It's, it's tough for me. We'll, we'll come back to you when you can go in the room. And that's absolutely fine, no problem. So we went on and we did that for a while. And um, that was great. It was, it was actually great because we had to 
like a lot of you guys, I'm sure, can relate to this, invent a way to make it work online. Um, I was learning how to do it in online for the first time. So while I was really excited to get in and run around and do all the games that I'd learned about, I was like, OK, now I have to figure out along with everyone else at the same time. So it was a kind of unique way to come at it, I suppose, especially not having any UT either background, like being just those few days and weeks with uh, Dave and, and then Barry and, and all that. Um, so that was that. We were kind of stuck a little bit in limbo then. Then it, it all kind of stopped for a while. And it went back to, right, what are we going to do when we get back in the room? How are we going to get our community and our young people back in and get them excited about it? And I suppose it's important to talk about the kind of inclusive practice that we have in Bali, in family base in Bali Fairmont. We run what we call creative spaces. And that is the advantage of having art staff, art, arts people on staff, you know, and not just freelancers kind of popping in and out. Like we have a consistent delivery year round with young people that we gain relationships with and they come in through a wide range of referrals. Now this can be mental health services, school, school completion officer, uh, CAM, school again. Uh, anyway, anytime a young person comes in to our front door, they're in with us and they have access to these arts programs. And a lot of young people have come in that way with us. Now, we, like an example could be uh, a young person coming in from um, a mental health, a health service or a referral from a mental health service. And you're told this young person is struggling with groups, struggling with social interaction, can't manage in any groups. No, not, not a chance. So they'll bring them in. So, you know, we bring them in, we meet the young person where they're at, we ask them what they want to do. And they might say, yeah, I don't like working in groups. I find it very difficult. To, but we, we listen to them. You know, we, so we offer them maybe a one-to-one -one art space to start off. And that's them with an arts worker working on whatever they say they want to work on. If it's arts. Could not be arts. Could be something else. And just to use an example of a young person who we now currently have in the Bally Firm U Theatre, they started off in the exact same situation. They came in, they did one-to-one -one arts with myself for a must have been the entire, until we, from when we could get people back in the room with masks on, with distances, they were with us doing one-to-ones. And they eventually heard about the U Theatre and they went, do you do the U Theatre? And I said, yeah, can I come into the U Theatre? I said, yeah, absolutely, of course. And they're there to this day. So that's two years later, which is fantastic. And there's more than one young person in that space that felt when they came in the door that there wasn't anything there for them. And now they're with us two years later. So we think that's, that's fantastic. And that's what we strive to do. And that's why I think the U Theatre model and the model we run in Family Base just blends together so well and benefits the community because the community in Bally Firm with the young people that we kind of work with, it's a, it can be a tough sell, not to all of them, but if you go to them and you say, do you want to come down and do a youth theatre, they'll go, no. <laughs> no, I don't know. What's that? Acting? No, I'm not doing acting. And then when they, when they come down and give it a chance and they see what it is, you, more often than not, they really do uh, jump in and really get into it, which is fantastic. We love to see it. Um, I completely went off what I'd written down here, which is great. <laughs> yeah. Had a plan and I just completely jumped off. Um, no, so just to say that that's, that's the kind of mode that we work off and we're very lucky that we have that. And I think it has benefited a lot of the young people who now I've been working with for three years. Um, we did get back into the room finally, which was fantastic after Zoom. And we have, oh sorry, actually. Another thing about what we think really, really works for keeping it inclusive and all is that it's free and it will always be free. And if, for as long as we can maintain the model of keeping it free, uh, working a true family base, we will. We've never asked our young people to pay for it. We scramble for funding in the background and do our best to, uh, to keep it going. But we'll, we'll do our best to never kind of uh, ask them for any money or anything up front. Um, they've offered to donate, which is fantastic. But um, we don't take it. So um, we will keep that going for as long as we can. So we got back in the room and we've actually moved our location all around the Dublin Tenor area to kind of facilitate the young people better. Some people maybe didn't want to go to a certain area because there's, you know, there could be a bit of strife in the community going on. So they're like, oh no, I don't want to meet there, don't, such and such reason. So we move as much as we can to accommodate them. And now we're back in family base and everyone seems really, really happy with that. Um, so we are very flexible. We want to maintain the robustness of what we deliver, obviously, for the young people, but we want to cater it for them always. So if they come to us with any preferences or if we can meet them, we will. And um, that's what we're all about. So in the spirit of kind of show instead of tell, I'm going to show you a little video. And this video has, it was just chronicle a couple of things that we did with, with the young people over the course of the to two years. And then it was a video that we put together to kind of put out and bring young people into the youth theatre. So it's a little bit what we feel youth theatre is, what the young people uh, feel youth theatre is. And it's mostly about, we want to hear from them. So we're going to have a little look at this now.
what youth theatre is, is a place where people can come, young people, and they can get involved in theatre games, they can be creative, they can come down and just have a bit of a laugh with their friends for an hour, an hour or two out of the week. And it's all about promoting that sense of play. You know, it's about coming down, being a bit silly. Maybe you learn a little bit about acting and performance along the way, about devising, script writing, all that type of stuff, but it's ultimately a place where people can come and just have a bit of fun. Youth theatre is basically a lot of like, youths come together and they practice together and they come together to form like a bond so that they can trust each other and perform together. It's, it's fun and it's not um, it's not like school, it's not like strict, so there's a bit of crack in everything for it. Yeah, it's not boring and you get a good laugh as well. There's never a dull moment. Um, at the start of it we were thinking about working towards like doing our own type of play or like show or whatever. I think we would, like, a lot of us would want to do a play or a musical or like a variety show, but there's others yeah. who just want to do like, be behind the scenes, be on camera, holding the mics and just helping out around. Absolutely, like there's a load of tech heads in there that, don't get me wrong, they love you theatre and they love the, uh, uh, the games and all the rest of it, um, but I think given the chance to hop on a camera or, you know, edit stuff, they just would flourish completely. Oh, yeah. No, scary moment we were doing, oh, it was like a chasing thing. Oh, yeah, I remember and Steve that. was on. Oh, that was so funny. And yeah. he, he, we were back up back in the Orchard Centre and he kept leaving the room and then <laughs> popping in from nowhere. <laughs> and like, started, he was like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll walk. I can only walk. And then he was like, okay, in a minute, I'll start running. And he ran straight towards me. I screamed and nearly broke my neck. <laughs> 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 Yeah, so Alan King, a uh, great man from Youth Theatre Ireland. He was actually did a lot of work with us in helping us get affiliated with Youth Theatre Ireland himself, Barry Morgan, Rona Dunnett, and obviously some great support here with Family Base too. Um, he came down, he did a session with the guys. Um, it was their first time working with a facilitator outside of who they're used to. Really enjoyable. It was very good. Yeah, it was very useful. Yeah. I liked walking out and it was like he got us into like the zone of acting and like how to experience being in front of an audience. Being yeah, it was more like acting than actually that. acting. Yeah, than sitting around reading scripts, getting to know each other. Yeah, there's a lot more improv. In yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, my little money in that. Feel more. Also, it's crazy. It was more calm as well. Didn't get paid on it. <laughs> <laughs> the workshop was amazing uh, because of COVID. I haven't really facilitated. Uh, with too many groups in a long time, so I was a bit rusty. Uh, the group were really funny, they were really engaged, they were really interested. And uh, yeah, I think they, they all really enjoyed themselves as much as I did. Bally Frame at Youth Theatre was set up at the end of 2019 uh, with help from Youth Theatre Ireland and Creative Ireland. And the Youth Theatre got going pretty quickly, but unfortunately COVID got in the way. And we're delighted to have a Youth Theatre running in Bally Fermi in Dublin 10 and they can access all the wonderful opportunities that any member of the youth theatre in Ireland can. You got your cameo in. There you go. <laughs> Um, that was just a little look at what we've been doing. Just thought it'd be, uh, be better to actually show you rather than talk about it, even though it's been lovely chatting to you. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit. That's about what we've been doing from Valley Fair Mew Theatre there, putting on their first show at the moment. They're, in, they're doing rehearsals now, and hopefully we're doing it in the new year. So thank you very much, and uh, enjoy the rest of the weekend, Jeff.